It's your boy Jismiz. Stop being dirty. Stop eating dirty. Link in the bio for all merchandise. So let's get right into this. But let's get these out the way real quick so we can get to the Mook and Tay Rock battle. Because I got work in the morning. I'm yelling. The kids are going to wake up. But I don't care. It's that time. It's that time. This is the one we was waiting for. So let's run through this real quick. Loso versus Eminem. I didn't watch that shit. I had it, but you know, I, I just wanted to wait. You know what I'm saying? I didn't watch Los and Emerson Kennedy, so I was like, yo, okay, Danny and um Jerry. I didn't watch that shit either. I was like, yo, if I'm gonna watch anything, like seriously, I'm gonna have to watch the homie beat out before. I didn't watch that shit. I didn't watch, man. Mookie Tay Rock went down. Tay Rock came out. He had the Dracula dirty raincoat. Like, you didn't even have a new do-rag on. It was filthy. You know, that almost could be a good thing. His beard was nappy. I was like, this is just so filthy. This could be crazy. Murder Moo comes up. If y'all watched my, my last blog, I know what that about. I should have started the blog with this. I should have started the blog with this. Let me get it together here. Let me get it. First round. Murder Moo goes first. The angle God. Y'all don't woke up that angle God. He's awaken. He's awoken. He's awaken woken. Gets right into the whole briz, uh, the on stage scenario. Breaks it down. Mind you, no one has been able to. No one has spoken of this like this in this amount of talent. I'm not even put it this way. I don't even know who Rock battled after that fight on stage. Whoever he did is so irrelevant to how they must have brought it up because I can't even remember anyone even talking about it. I don't even remember it. I don't even remember it. This was the breakdown of the fight, like twisting of saying how Rock's a snake and like the way like Rock hyping that bar. He was the core of that fight. And then Mook carried that angle through the battle. And you would think, see, if you're a rookie, if you don't have the experience that Mook has, that could have been a bad, bad move for you. That could have been a bad move for you because it's like, all right, man, you're talking about this again? You're talking about this again? And it's like, yes. And if you're that good at angles, it'll hit. Yo, by the way, I was I was making a joke before. I did see the beat out battle. Um, it's Halloween, man. I was putting the kids to sleep. I didn't get to, get to catch that. There's like this to beat out battle. I'm mentioning it. I'm saying this. Why? He used the bipolar angle against Holmesy all battle. And it was fire all battle. It wasn't like, oh, I don't want to hear this again. Why are you overusing this? If, you're, if your level of talent is that good, you can twist and turn that situation and just make it that good. Now, that's not all he spoke about. So let's get back to this. The round one, he got into this bridge situation mixed with... It's just levels of talent when it comes to writing capabilities. And I and I watched the, the 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 joint off my phone like this, right? And then I turn it this way, you can see the comments. Nothing but straight hate. Like Arsenal, you in there hating, twerking. I don't, I don't know why y'all doing that. Like hating ain't gonna get you nowhere in life, man. And maybe you not hating, and maybe you generally felt like he wasn't being good, but y'all bugging because I seen a lot of y'all was hating. Y'all was stop being dirty. Stop being dirty. Stop being dirty, because all that hate shit is whack. Like, 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 Mook was cooking, but we'll get to that. No, we won't, because I don't give a shit about the hate. Let's get back to the battle. This is why I don't be paying attention to the comments, man. A lot, this is what the errors become. People run into the YouTube comments before they even watch the battle, and, like, I don't be understand, and, like, really lets that sway their opinion before they even have, have opinion for yourself. So Mook's going round one, I'm like, bruh, he's rapping. And like, you know how he was rapping against Verb, but he had some real generic shit in there that just was not landed. He did not have none of that. It was fire rapping, scheming, double entendres. I was like, bruh, this is a hard round to beat. Now, mind you, the setting, there's no crowd. There's somewhere like where Surf was hearing echoes. Like, I don't know where the crowd was. I don't know where they were. They weren't there, though. It's just smack there standing amazed by Mook's rounds, by the way. Um, Rock goes, and I'm like, let's go, Rock. Let's go. You the face it. Let's go. So Rock starts going in again. I got that same small room, quiet vibe from Rock that I had in the daylight battle. It's like he's cooking. He's not whack. 
but it's not the rock that we know. Like, I feel like that first round specifically, he was really trying to adapt to show he can rap like Mook and he was not in his rock bag. Either that or this guy just refuses to win a first round because I have Murder Mook taking the first. It's already 1-0 going to the second. I'm like, this is crazy. I don't give a shit about the little 50, 100, little, little bet I have. That don't mean nothing. I'll be happy to pay if I'm wrong. I'm happy to get my money if I win. So, um, but we'll get to that at the end. And um, so at the so so going into the round two, I had it. 1-0 Murder Mook. Round two goes, and Murder Mook definitely declined in this round. But this round was still also good because Murder Mook's rapping ability, you can tell he's a smart guy and he also listens. He's not... I think he came into the Aver battle rusty and ignorant, thinking like, I'm that dude. I've been doing these freestyles on Hot 97 and I 95 and like thinking, you know, like you could get away with a lot of basic raps on beat because as long as you're riding the beat, it sounds good. Shit, the whole rap game is built off of people just sounding good on hooks and having no verses. So it's just what the music business become, unfortunately. All the real artists, I mean, you have the J. Coles and the Kendrick Lamar. Garlic was, the garlic was fresh this battle, people. The garlic was fresh this battle, people. Te Mortimer goes, and I say this round could be beat. This round could be beat if Tay Rock steps it up. Tay Rock stepped it up. Tay Rock had his best round of the battle in his round two, which is normal Tay Rock fashion. It, he usually comes through crazy in the round two, and that's what he did. But I'm going to have to keep it a buck with you. This round was close. It was close. It's almost you're living in a world where it could be cl close as all right. Like, what's wrong with being close? It's murder mook. It's murder mook. It's murder mook. So it's like, if it comes closer with murder mook, that makes sense. It's mook. He's that nice. But it's almost like, bruh, Tay Rock. I, I... Murder mook look real seasoned this battle. Real season this battle. By the way, my mouth pause matches th this hoodie and it's because I was getting that. It was a crumb up there. It was 19 crumbs up there. I had a little wine when I'm watching this. I'm wanting and dying on my elegance. Tay Rock goes round two and I'm like, okay, uh, this round is better. I'm feeling this round. But yo, bro, when I analyze the round, I feel like I could go either way. But if I had to choose, had to, I'm going to go Tay Rock round two. I liked him a little better. His energy went up a little better, but Tay Rock's energy wasn't really there. You can tell that man truly, truly feeds off of the crowd. It's like when you smashing a shorty and it's like you smashing and it's like, you know, you doing your thing. That was just him smashing a shorty, but usually he has that, that Viagra, that little Cialis wrangling in the pocket over there. Like, I don't matter. What I could do, I could pop a molly, I could do some powder flower, I could do some Henny on nice 16 beers, it ain't gonna matter, cause this is getting rocked, cause I got the click, 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 you just, you just walk up to the joint of the bedroom, like, oh, you too lick, you just shake them things up, so, so, so the crowd is rocks back, <laughs> and yo, so it's like, that's where he can really go in, but without that, he's like, he, 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 he it's like, Superman don't really got his cape on. It's like, Clark, we know it's you, but... So, going into round three. I have it 1-1, one, one, but I have it in an interesting 1-1. One, one. I have it in a 1-1 one, one where I'm like, Tay Rock has to really cook this round. Because I have Murder Mook taking the first. I'm not... I don't think it's debatable. Then I have Tay Rock edging the second. He didn't clearly take it, but he took it, right? So you have to analyze it this way. So therefore, you have a clear round, an edge round. He needs to step it up this round. Then Murder Mook gonna go and have the best round of the battle. The, the, the analogies and comparing to when he spoke about his mother and like, like the demons that come the karma and the demons that come with someone talking about a dead mother, because that's the biggest thing you could lose in your life. And like he had a point where like he, he mentioned Briz's home, you passed away, rest in peace. And he, and he intertwined it with like that being a karma for what happened 
for them talking about his mother and Rock starting that whole thing in a fight that he didn't even fight in. And it just, the way he broke that down, he was really, really talking to him. One thing I like what Rock did in the first round, he addressed that it was whack what happened with the Briz situation. I think he should have went a little more on that topic. You know what I'm saying? Because if you take away the power from the enemy, they have nothing to work with, especially that being the dynamic that Murder Mook had to work with the most this battle. Would kill Tay Rock in this battle? Oh, but Murder Mook 2-1, first and third. Murder move 2-1 first and third. Tay Rock went his third round, I think was his worst round of the battle versus Murder Mook's best round of the battle. Tay Rock was not whack. Murder Mook was just on one. Was Tay Rock whack versus Daylight? Not even close. Did Tay Rock beat Daylight? Not even close. It was one of them. It was one of them. Tay Rock round one. Tay Rock round one. His power started going away from him because Murder Mook kept hitting. It's almost like he's like, yo, you didn't fight back. You didn't do this or whatever the case may be. And now you're up here just constantly talking about gun bar, gun bar, gun bar. And it was good to, you can do that with Tayrock because he's not joking on you. He's not telling a story. He's not really switching it up. It's kind of like gun bar violence, gun bar violence, gun bar violence. Okay, Mr. Just Gun Bar Violence, let's talk about when it needed to come down to violence and you didn't step it up in, in a violent situation. You know, like that angle is like, you know, like I'll put my situations in it, right? What happened? I got swung on on stage. What happened a split second later? I'm fighting back. And that punch right there was a better one than I threw that night, <laughs> admittedly so. That was the best punch right there in this kitchen thrown from anyone that night, actually. But the point is... That's what happens. Person gets hit, you rumble. You know what I'm saying? A person could try to twist and talk about that in my next battles all they want. But the fact is, that's what happens. It's a reaction. You get hit, you fight back. What had happened to me prior, okay, what do you want me to do? Grow eyes behind my head and not get lined up from the behind me and not wake up like a dead zombie, not know where I'm at? Sorry. If that's an L, I'll take it. You know what I'm saying? Not every, not every L's a loss. It's a lesson, by the way. Just... Protect your peace, man. I mean, protect your peace. I love me some Tay Rock. I love me Murder Mook. I, this was great. I love the battle. I'll watch it again. The substance, some things going over my head, things of that nature. I was really tuned in, really focused on it. You know, it's later in the night for me. I, it, it's 1230 right now. You know what I'm saying? I was out, been up since five in, in the morning. Got to be up five for work again. 12 hours shift. Had some wine. I'm living life. I'm living good. I'm feeling good. But I was focused on this one for real because this was the one. And um, again, I feel like the angle took away from Rock big time because it's it, it was like he Murder Mook every round talked about that angle and every round that Tay Rock rapped tough, it sounded less tough because Murder Mook reminded us every round on when it was time to be tough, he wasn't the toughest kind of thing. I love Tay Rock's angle on the Murder Mook getting pistol whipped and doing a song with math and the whole, um, he, he took out the dot mob chain and spit on it. Tay Rock, you could have made that way better. You're supposed to snap that chain. You're supposed to do something like that. You had a right idea and did not execute it well. That, I, you know, you had a bunch of those actually. That, when you admitted to, you know, not, not being honorable to Briz, that was the right idea. You did not execute it well. Lack of execution by Tay Rock with the right ideas caused him to take a loss in this battle. Murder Mook went in there with a game plan and executed it perfectly. I like every single one of Murder Mook's rounds. I think Tay Rock's first round, he takes time to build. Murder Mook was ready there. His second round, Tay Rock was second round Tay Rock. But that third round, that was like the levels round, especially because Murder Mook was so good in that round and Tay Rock had his worst round in that round. It doesn't really end the battle well for Tay Rock. At the end of the day, I enjoyed watching the battle. Dope battle. Salute to Tay Rock. That's my guy. Salute Murder Mook. I keep it a buck on the Stop Being Dirty channel, man. I, I could be in Cave Gang and I would be calling this battle the same way. And that's why y'all love this channel. That's why if you're watching, you subscribe to this channel and hit subscribe. Link in the bio for the Stop Being Dirty merchandise. And by the way, one more amount, announcement I want to say. When y'all see me wear this t-shirt, the day y'all see me just wear this t-shirt, it's going to be a special day. I'm saving this for a special day. Y'all going to know what it means the day it comes. 
I'm stuttering, I'm tired. I think I hear my son. And uh Stappy and Dave Mook Warren. Piper boy, get my buddy!